Hi, welcome to this lesson on theme options. With this lesson, you'll describe the Customize API, otherwise known as the Customizer, list examples of how the Customizer is used in a theme, and register theme options using the Customizer. So let's dive in. What is the Customizer? Here we're looking at the 2024 theme. It's the currently active theme. When we hover over appearance, we see we have access to the site editor. Now let's go into themes and we'll install a classic theme. So we'll click on add new theme and we'll choose the 2021 theme. So we'll install and then we'll click activate. We see several new menus there. However, we don't see the editor choice anymore because we don't have access to the site editor with a classic theme. So now the user can click on customize in order to open up the customizer. And here the user can make changes which will be site-wide, such as changing the colors, and there's also an option for dark mode. And that's what we'll take a look at next. Let's now take a look at how the customizer is used in the 2021 theme. So when the user clicks on colors and dark mode, they now have the option to click on the color selector in order to change the background color. So now let's take a look at the code to see how this was done. If we open up the functions.php file, we see that the default color that we just saw is specified here using add theme support. And also here is the editor color palette. And this is how users can just select from the palette. Let's take a look again at the front end and we'll see how this comes together for the user within the customizer. After they click on the color selector, then they have that color palette. Um, just note here too that they can also add in the hex code and they can just scroll around here and choose a color that they like. Let's take a look at how you would register theme options using the customizer. So it all starts with the WP Customize Manager class that will help you with creating those controls in the customizer. Note the comment here under more information on how the WP Customize object is used as an instance of this class and it's the primary use of this class that you'll see within themes. Here we're looking at the class within the 2021 theme that calls the WP Customized Manager in order to create that object, WP Customize. If we scroll down a bit, then we can see how this class is written out in order to tie in what we just looked at in the functions.php file. So we've got the background color being defined and we've got the control registration here and the palette being called here using get theme support. And then finally we're using an array to build out the palette. And then it all comes together at the bottom here by adding the control for the background color which overrides the default background color control that ships with WordPress. For more details, it's strongly recommended that developers study the core customizer code. Now, this is all of the core files that contain the word customize, and you'll find this in your WordPress install folder, WP includes customize. 
You can refer to the theme handbook available on WordPress.org to read up more on adding theme options using the Customize API.